This we're back. We're talking about some Final Fantasy VII. We're talking Rebirth. We have an interesting bit of info, news, whatever you want to call it today. Somewhat recently, a bunch of influencers, content creators, journalists probably got to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. They got to play what seems to be four hours of the game. And we know this because a lot of them have been tweeting out like pictures they took with some of the devs at this event in LA. Some of them have been tweeting about it. I'd say that it seems like this event maybe took place the same day that Game Informer did their 129 questions with Naoki Hamaguchi. Only because he's wearing the same shirt. Like, the pictures people have posted with, like, Katase and Hamaguchi, he's wearing that same, like, sweater that he's wearing in that particular video. Unless my guy decided to wear that shirt again, I assume this happened around the same time. Now, I don't know if we know exactly when this event took place in L.A. I don't know. Because there's, like, some sort of NDA. Because people can kind of talk about it, but they can't explain what happened yet. Other than somebody accidentally kind of, like, leaking or, or mentioning that it was, like, a four-hour gameplay session or whatever. We don't really know anything about it. So I don't know exactly if we know the exact day of when that is or when these people are actually going to be able to talk about it. Uh, what little info we do have about this comes from Roger's Base. Because they tweeted out about this yesterday, about their, you know, experience or whatever. And they accidentally mentioned that it was four hours, which tweet got deleted. They sent the same tweet out again, just kind of omitting the four-hour part. But obviously, we all already seen it. I'm just going to throw this out here, Square Enix, but if you invite your boy to stuff like this, I won't forget how an NDA works. But we can read the now revised tweet that says, I just experienced Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Without saying anything that will get me in trouble, people are not prepared for this. Something happened right away that totally shocked me and it only got better from there. Get hype. So obviously all this is pretty exciting because we have some kind of new info, some new whatever to talk about, but we don't know anything right now is the problem. We don't know when they can talk about it. We know they got to play four hours, but was that... They put you in a certain section of the game, you get to play four hours straight, or was it like you get to play a little bit, and they move you over here, and you get to play a little bit, and move over here, play a little bit, like, I don't know, we don't know, right? But apparently, whatever they got to play, like, according to Roger's base, like, right out the gate was something kind of crazy. And I don't know what that is. It's hard to even speculate that, because who the fuck knows what they got to play right now? We know there's going to be new shit in this game, regardless of Zack's fate, you know, whether he's dead or alive, there's a whole like, Zack scenario that's going on parallel to our story. And that could maybe be it, like, Zack stuff makes a lot of sense, but there's also going to be, like, new shit throughout, you know, the, the main guy story, the Cloud in the Group story that's playing, like, FF7, essentially. There's still going to be new elements to kind of switch it up and everything and flesh out the world, so it could be, like, Cloud in the Group stuff. I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what would exactly happen that just is blowing people's minds, especially if you're already a Final Fantasy VII fan. You know the basics of the story, the gist of the story, and to have something that just kind of blows you away, like, I, I'm, I don't know what that is, man. It's, it's exciting, at least. I actually wasn't sure what people got to play just because, like, all we know about is the demo, right? But it doesn't make sense because people pointed out, because I asked the question on Twitter, that a lot of people who got to go to this event have already played the demo, so obviously it wouldn't make sense for them to play the demo more. And obviously with the previous demos, we have, you know, the calm flashback, Nibelheim incident and stuff. And then the other demo was, like, right outside of maybe Mithril Mine or whatever it is, and that short, like, walk to Under Junon. You can kind of explore that area, and then you go to Under Junon, and you fight Bottom Swell, right? That was the other demo. And then we have the Tokyo Game Show, like, big gameplay kind of exploration area, which is... Like, right outside of Calm, all the way to Under Junon, right? So there's kind of all that out there. And presumably what people got to play is something entirely different, which is kind of crazy to think, because that's like, the that's we combine all that gameplay we already have. That's like the first couple of hours or so of FF7 Rebirth, and then if people got to play, like, another four-hour section somewhere else, so I was like, that's a good portion of the game right there, man. I will say, though, that even though everyone thinks that it's something brand new somewhere else in the game, I think it's also possible that they got to maybe play the first four hours of the game, assuming that it's all, like, one four-hour sitting down and playing sort of thing. It could have been, like, playing from the very beginning of the game, because people only got to play part of the Calm Flashback, right? You didn't get to experience, like, the full thing, riding in the back of the truck, all the other shit that happens with it and stuff like that. So it's possible that happened. I don't think that's the case, but it is just a maybe possibility um, and maybe the, if they got to play from the beginning of the game, maybe there's like a cutscene or something that happens at the very beginning of the game, kind of bridging the gap between remake and rebirth, kind of picking up from the ending of remake or something like that. Maybe a Zach cutscene. Who knows? Whatever. Uh, even if that is the case, maybe whatever you see at the beginning of the game is very surprising, shocking, whatever. But again, I think more than likely they got to play another section of the game because we've seen that with remake where people got to play like the Abzu boss fight and like the Airbuster boss fight right before remake actually came out. So more than likely they put them somewhere else in the game. I don't know where. Kind of using those two boss fights as sort of a baseline for a guess here. Like the Abzu boss fight takes place in like chapter 10, and their buster fight takes place in chapter 7 within FF7 Remake. So somewhere close to like the middle of Rebirth potentially is where they threw these people at to play. That's pretty much it for the video, because what else can we really say about this? People got to play the game, they got to play a lot of the game. We don't know what that is yet. We don't know when they can talk about it. Some people have said within the next couple of days, maybe the next week or two, people have theorized potentially that people with the NDA could like break on like January 31st, obviously the iconic. You know, release date of the game, whatever. So it's possible sometime within the next couple weeks. Uh, obviously, it's going to happen at some point, but uh, who knows when exactly. Anyways, that's the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. So it's in the description below. Follow my Twitter, that's it.
Bye. I used to care what people thought, but now I care more. I and mean, nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending, depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like Coltrane, we in here. Like Logan, or leave it. Like Cobain.